The following is a presentation of the Pro Wrestling Report. Informative, entertaining, and real since 1998. Welcome to PWR Sudden Impact Radio. Breaking down all that happened on tonight's Impact Wrestling broadcast on Spike TV. Sudden Impact Radio is on the air. Good evening, wrestling fans. Welcome to Sudden Impact Radio right here on Blog Talk Radio. I am the man they call Meathead. If you want to interact with the program tonight, here's the number to call in. Area code 347-996-5278 or 877-317-9772. Got a big impact to talk about tonight. Partner Dwayne Williams unable to make it. He may be able to call in later. He is stuck in transit as we speak, flying somewhere over the greater United States of America. So you're going to get Meathead solo tonight. If Dwayne makes it in, he makes it in. If not, if not. But let's talk about the program tonight. Sudden Impact. Also, if you want to hit us up on Twitter, make sure you're using the hashtag Sudden Impact. And don't forget our Facebook page, our new Facebook page. Uh, check on over at facebook.com slash PWR. So, Impact just about to go off the air. A unsunglassed thing, taking a beat down from the world champion, Bobby Roode. As we go off the air, apparently Stinger popped open on the forehead, put his glasses back on his head for him. The heel champion getting over on the boss now. And uh, not sure where we're going with this. I don't know if this means that Sting thinks that down the road he's going to get his World Heavyweight Championship match. I'm not sure if this means that the Stinger... You know, wants to get back in the wrestling. He wants to get back and be out with the boys. But uh, the world heavyweight champion has just laid out the the authority figure in the middle of the ring, and it looks like nobody in the Impact Zone cares. It's a far cry from the shows that we had the previous two weeks of being in the Wembley Arena, being in London, you know, across the seas, you know, with such a huge, energetic, you know, excitable crowd. It to come back to the impact zone and everybody's just sitting on their hands. Well, there's a couple people booing, but it, for the most part, people are sitting on their hands. You know, I, I don't know. We're going to run down impact and everything that went on tonight. And we're going to talk about it. We're also, again, taking your phone calls. If you want to call in and talk about impact, once again, those numbers are area code 347-996-5278 or 877-317. 9772, but let's talk about Impact for a moment here. The show opens up with Bobby Roode and Sting. Uh, Bobby Roode coming out to the ring. He makes Christy Hemme reintroduce himself. Uh, Roode brags, uh, you know, what happened against all odds. Uh, Sting does come out, though, and says, you know what? It's part my fault. I cost Jeff Hardy a shot. I got in the ring. I got a little excited. And he, you know, tells Roode that, you know what? You're getting Jeff Hardy again in a match, and I'm glad to see that you're dressed because it's happening right now. No DQ, no time limit. So we open up the show with, and again, we've talked about this so many times on the Pro Wrestling Report. Why are you having rematches on free TV that people paid for on pay-per-view? If you paid for that, if you paid for that show, if you paid for Against All Odds, full price. If you paid for it, you know, half price. If you paid for high definition, why? You just got that exact same match. You got the main event pretty much for free. I mean, I know it was a four-way match. I know that it had Bully, and it also had James Storm in there. But you just got a pay-per-view match for free to open up a free TV show. Doesn't make a lot of sense. But anyways, we have a good, solid match, Jeff Hardy, one-on-one with Bobby Roode, uh, no DQ, no you know time limit. At the end of the match, as Jeff Hardy looks to be getting over on Bobby Roode, here comes a returning Kurt Angle costing Jeff Hardy the match. Bobby Roode bragging again how he got over, and Sting catches up to him in the back and says, you know what, you keep getting over and you keep getting over. I'm not done with you yet, Bobby. Tonight there will be a number one contenders match, and we saw that number one contenders match in the main event. The match was Bully Ray, who, uh, one of the two lines tonight, uh, I thought, (laughs) the first one being that uh, Bully Ray says, you know what, pretty boys have abs, 
Real Men Have Calves. Fantastic stuff. I, I was definitely amused by that. I thought it was amazing. Um, there's another line that I'll, I'll tell you about in just a moment, but uh, Real Men Have Calves, Only Pretty Boys Have Abs. Very nice. Because, you know, I've got very solid calves as well, folks. Uh, just amazing stuff, amazing stuff. Uh, so the main event was Bully Ray going one-on-one with James Storm. The winner is going to be the number one contender and go up against Bobby Roode. So, you know, at least we have some of the night set. Now, they start off the show, besides the, you know, opening pay-per-view match that we got, uh, we start off with Zima Ion and Austin Aries, and Austin Aries, a double punking Zima Ion, even though they're supposed to be the heel team, you can really tell one is the man and one is the boy. This is nothing against Zima Ion, but Austin Aries just comes out and just proves who the man is in this. Uh, they go uh, head-to-head with Alex Shelley and Shannon Moore. Uh, it was a great match. I thought it was a good exhibition style tag team match, and Zima Ion stealing the pin from Austin Aries with a slap on the back, gets in, gets the roll up. Alex Shelley not too happy about that. But what are you what what are you supposed to believe that he's upset about? That he got beat? That it was a roll up? He didn't cheat. Tagged himself in, rolled him out and got the win. That was a fantastic match and a fantastic move as well. Um we also had some discussion uh, between Madison Rain and Gail Kim about the Divas Ten Divas knockout match. And I'm gonna have a uh, just a little point, or a little piece I want to point out here. It's it was just a little painfully obvious that if it's a ten knockouts, excuse me, I know I just said divas, but if it's a ten knockouts battle royal, and with Madison in the ring, she makes the tenth. Isn't it obvious she's supposed to be in a match? Eh, it's, I don't know. It's, it's just it kind of killed the spontaneity for me, I guess. Uh, but also looking at the uh, match the the winner without being the winner of the match that looked really strong odb started clearing everybody out of the ring and uh she had the uh andre the giant syndrome going on for her you know the they go after the one that's the biggest threat if you will in the match and they they cleared out obd uh odb and got her out and that was the end of that so you know it is what it is i thought it was a decent battle royal um, it was one of the, to me, one of the highlights of the show, which I thought, and again, we'll talk about it in a little bit, but I thought it uh, lacked. It definitely lacked, especially coming off of, in comparison to the London shows, or excuse me, the Wembley Arena shows. Yeah, I thought it definitely lacked, but uh, Madison Rain wins the match. She wins the 10 knockout battle royal. She's now the number one contender for the knockout championship against her knockouts tag team championship partner. Gail Kim, who also is the Knockouts champion. So there's four different people that could be involved in this, and they both are the same person. It's Gail Kim, and it's Madison Rain. Kind of a bit of a cluster there as well. Not not too happy on how that's working out. Um, also, the segment of the night that I thought was the most painful, we will get to in a moment. We're going to take a quick break. When we get back, we're going to talk about the most painful segment. We're also going to take your phone calls 347-996-5278-877-317-9772. You're listening to Sudden Impact Radio right here on Blog Talk Radio. Stop stalking your ex and be our friend on Facebook and join the tremendous worldwide discussion. Facebook.com slash Pro Wrestling Report. Missed an episode on the Pro Wrestling Report? Thanks, pal. Subscribe to the show on iTunes and take the show with you wherever you go, even in the bathroom. This is the Pro Wrestling Report. Informative, entertaining, real. You're listening to the most popular sports show on Blog Talk Radio, the Pro Wrestling Report.
Welcome back to Sudden Impact Radio right here on Blog Talk Radio, the man they call Meathead, who you can also follow on Twitter at WCW Meathead. A um, little story. <laughs> Unintentionally, I mentioned uh, something about Tony Schiavone over the last couple of days, and apparently Tony uh, was impressed with the tweet enough, or I don't know if he was just bored or what was going on. Tony, I'm glad you're paying attention, and I'm uh, glad you uh, retweeted back. That was nice to hear that Tony Schiavone is still alive and still uh, working down in the hot Atlanta area. So uh, I thought that was kind of ironic, kind of um, off-kilt, if you will. But uh, if you want to call into the program, area code 877-317-9772. Also, 347-996-5278 if you want to try to get your twit, tweet, your twit, <laughs> if you want to get your tweet uh, possibly right on air, make sure you're using the hashtag sudden impact, and we'll read those. Don't forget about the chat osphere as well. It is open and going, and our new Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash PWR. We're going to jump into the phones right now. First off, I'm going to let you know that we – Take you by area code. I want you to tell us your name and the state that you're calling. <laughs> Start off with the area code 269. Let's see your name, state you're calling from. Go ahead. Hey, this is David from Michigan. David, welcome back to Sudden Impact. What do you want to talk about tonight? Um, it was actually I. I see what I was talking about. Um, I was kind of, and I was really glad how TNA on my handle they did this story about Jesse and I. And everybody like saying he got more feeling each every day, which is great news. I remember watching that, and you knew something was wrong. And it was just like, wow. Just yeah, it does. And watch the, yeah. yeah, the injury to Jesse Sorensen, definitely legitimate, definitely real, and definitely very scary. Um, the fact that he's got uh, feeling starting to come back is great. Uh, the word is that it may take him up to a year to come back to wrestling. And let's be honest. If he chooses to come back to wrestling, I mean, he's a very young guy. This is something that yeah. scared him, and you know, it's it's. I don't know. It's something you got to think about if it's something you really want to do. Yeah, I mean, wrestling is not even just it's the only discussion right now. Just to get better, and I mean, they said I remember hearing Al Snow say on Monday that um uh, most people who get that injury die instantly. Yeah, and it's you know Al would uh, Al was there. Al, you know, Al was working that night. Al, you know, one of the booking agents, as you saw on television tonight, holding back Brandon Jacobs. Um, yeah, Al would know, and uh, it's this was no joke. This was definitely very serious stuff. So, uh, overall, how did you feel the show went tonight? Would you give it a pass or a fail? The size is a whole um, uh, crowd thing, which because of you guys now, I pay more attention to the crowd than I do half the time during the matches. But if you try to block that out, which is really hard to do, I thought it's been it was a good. Show. I enjoyed it tonight. I mean, the, and go ahead. The future endeavor thing was kind of funny. I like that. I liked that it was short and sweet, not too long. Yeah, uh, you know, it's funny that um, I think that if they had this, you know, I, I, we've talked for years, and you know, a lot of fans and a lot of viewers and a lot of listeners and a lot of you know YouTube and internet people would say, oh, they're booking this or they're booking that or they're not using this guy, they should push that guy. You know, we've heard that story saying for 10, 15 years already, you know, as long as the Internet's been around and as long as it's ruined wrestling. But let's be honest, if this was booked in a different company, the way they're booking it, it would be amazing. I think they're booking and I think they're doing what they can. They just, they have a marketing crowd and uh, overall production value issue right now. I thought the show was okay, but it still has that second, you know, second-rate feel to it. That's what they got to work think, on, in my opinion. No, I think that was smart how they had the world title match first, because like everyone's saying, TNA's ratings are at its highest in the first hour. If you're having a world <laughs> title match, I mean, you might get people tuned in to, hey, there's Jeff Hardy wrestling somebody I don't know, so. And then that's when you get those casual viewers and they keep them tuned in. Right. And, yeah, that's fine if they flipped it up. But like I was saying in the beginning, I would just be upset if I paid for the pay-per-view and here I see the same guys again in a free TV match. So, overall, yeah, how many times like was said, WWE including that, the though? crowd, including everything, overall, was the show a pass or a fail to you? It was a pass, I think. I enjoyed it. Okay. All right, so we got a pass. we got more calls we're going to take. David, I appreciate you calling in every week and uh, hope to hear from you again next week. All right, thanks. Yep. 
We're going to move on here. Area code 312. Area code 312, I want to hear your first name. State you're calling from. Go ahead, 312. Yes, this was on Jones from Chicago, Illinois. Chi-town. Yeah. What's popping? What's cracking? Is that what the kids are saying? <laughs> uh, well, I'm not, so... Uh, <laughs> I gotcha. I, I was trying to be hip. Uh, you know, uh, <laughs> like that uh, famous like that famous audio clip from the college coat that yelled out, I'm a man, I'm 40. You know, I'm getting a little bit older. I'm trying to still stay connected with the kids. It's not working out <laughs> too well. But anyway, what do you want to talk about tonight? Yeah, I want to talk about, you know, Impact. I thought Impact was a pretty good show. Um, you know, I, I thought it was actually pretty entertaining. Uh, I was actually a little surprised with the world title match uh, right in the beginning of the show because, you know, I don't read spoilers. I like, you know, some people out there. Right. And, uh, you know, I, um, the end of the, the last match, you know, I thought that last match probably probably went on longer than probably what it should have. But, you cause, but you know, but you can really tell from the fans uh, but just just by Bubba Ray's, uh, Bubba Ray Dugley, or Billy Ray Dugley, what I should call him, that, you know, he I really know. loved the number one heel probably in, in wrestling, but, but for sure in that company. But for, you know, yeah. for sure in that company, but... You know, you know, I thought James Storm looked it very, very funny tonight. You know, his <laughs> leg, leg, you know, his pants leg was gone. He looked like a homeless man to me. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and it, it, we, we make fun of this, but that's some of the production value, even though that's the wrestler, that's the performer's look right there. That's some of the things that just make it feel to me like it's a second-rate thing. I want, I desire for them to show a top-notch, top-rated program with the amazing production value of, say, a WWE. We know they're not there yet, but it's what I want. I want them to succeed just as much as I want the E to succeed, so I have yeah. two companies that I can watch. I have two programs I can watch. I'm struggling right. with that part of it right now. So, overall, with everything included, the show was a pass or a fail. Yes, sir. It was a pass to me. I enjoyed the show. Okay, good, good. Well, I appreciate you calling in. Uh, as much as me being a Milwaukee guy, you know, we don't really like Chicago, but I appreciate you coming in, and I, I, I don't have as much against Chicago as I used to. Yeah, the Bulls won tonight, too. Ah, the Bulls. Well, we don't want to talk NBA here because we don't have an NBA team here in Milwaukee, so we're just going to let that go. Appreciate right, you look. calling in. Make sure you call in to us next week. Thanks for calling. Yes, sir. Bye. All right, we're going to keep on going here. We're going to take our next call here. We've got area code 646. 646, tell me the name and state you're calling from. Go ahead, 646. Hey, what's up? This is Biff from the Bronx. Biff from the Bronx. Hey, uh, I know you heard that uh, WrestleMania is going to be making it up your way, even though technically it's in New Jersey, but that's that's still your neck of the woods, isn't it? Yeah, I'm sure the mob the mob wives already bought the tickets, so I guess I'll be watching for Wild Wings. <laughs> Very funny. All right, what do you want to talk about Impact tonight? The first thing I noticed tonight was the future Endeavor line by Eric Bischoff. I don't know why it caught me and made me laugh so hard, but I don't know. It just stood out to me. The way he had that grin and the, the champagne and then the future Endeavor, I would just like to see him matching him and Johnny Ace in the steel cage. <laughs> see, the thing is, Johnny Ace was a wrestler. Eric Bischoff does have some martial arts training, but neither of them should be in the ring. So, yeah, him and the, uh, him gonna, and what, what was the guy's name? The cat? Still cage. Say again? Yeah, him and the, the cat from WCW had a tag team, right? <laughs> uh, they uh, they played up an angle where the cat was I'm training joking, Eric I'm Bischoff. Joking. Yeah, they they played up. A, uh, I miss the cat, and now that you know Funkasaurus isn't on TV anymore, I think they need to bring the cat back. But that's another show, another program. Yes. Yeah, overall tonight, though, overall tonight, how did you feel in that went? Pass or fail? It it was a pass. Mass and Rain definitely stood out. I'm happy that they're putting, well, hopefully they put the title back on a homegrown talent. And, you know, Gil Kim was nice, but that charisma just isn't there. Like, Mass and Rain has that charisma. Right, yeah. And I thought it was, uh, I thought it, it, it felt awkward because they, you know, she's, uh, Tanae, you know, just begging for you to notice, hey, I, I was smart enough to notice she said all the knockouts in the ring at this time. You know, including her. Well, if you count, they said it was a ten diva battle, or you know, a ten knockout battle royal. But Madison made the tenth, so not bad. I, I, yeah. I want to match. An- him, so. Sorry. Another thing Tanae and Taz did was 
I didn't like the way, like, when they did the Jesse Sorensen story, which was great. I'm happy they actually kept it real. Yeah. But when Zima Ion comes out, Taz goes, I wonder how he feels. I felt, you know, didn't really need to throw that in because, right. you know, I was hoping, they, I'm, I'm happy they didn't make it an angle. But when he said that, I was like, oh, my God, they're going to they're gonna destroy it. They're going to make it into an angle and Zima Ion trying to hurt people. But I'm happy they didn't go there and. Other than that, I don't want to take too much time out, but Impact, good show, is getting better. Hopefully everyone keeps watching and we can have a competitive type of show now. I think so, too. I appreciate you calling in. Thanks again. Hopefully No problem. Listen next. every week. Love you, Mijas. All right. Thanks, buddy. All right. We're going to take our final break here. When we get back, we'll run down the rest of Impact. We'll also read some of your tweets from Twitter, and we'll look at the chat sphere much, much more. You're listening to Sudden Impact Radio right here on Blog Talk Radio. This is the Pro Wrestling Report. Informative, entertaining, real. They know their way around the wrestling ring, but certainly not a whole hell of a lot about being in it. This is the Pro Wrestling Report Radio. There's only one place to get the latest from pro wrestling, including the only place to get 100% verified wrestling news. PWRshow.com pwrshow.com where you'll never find pop-ups or misleading headlines. Watch or listen to all of our latest TV and radio broadcasts on demand and get caught up on wrestling news between episodes. pwrshow.com is the cleanest, friendliest, and most fan-friendly source for wrestling news on the web. Subscribe to the Pro Wrestling Report on YouTube. We promise we'll never rickroll you, but we might just choke slam you. Click the subscribe button now and be part of the revolution. Follow us on Twitter for breaking news, live wrestling chat, and pure hilarity. Head over to twitter.com slash PWR show and be part of the conversation. This is the Pro Wrestling Report. Informative, entertaining, real. Welcome back to Sudden Impact Radio right here on Blog Talk Radio. The man they call Meathead hanging out. And like I said, uh, my partner Dwayne, unable to make it tonight. He's been uh, floating over somewhere in the United States of America. He got caught up in a flight and was unable to make it. So this will be a 30-minute show, and this will be the last segment for the program. Uh, if you want to interact with the program and possibly get your name and your tweets read on the air, always use the hashtag Sudden Impact. It's a lot easier for a man they call Meathead to be able to search for your tweets. And speaking of tweets, we're going to head on over to Twitter and we're going to check out what's going on over there. So, first off, I want to ask you, for those that are watching uh, Impact Wrestling, are you, I mean, I, we've heard from the fans that they've all said it's, they've all said it's been a pass. And, and, and I get that, but I just, I'm not quite sure why you would think it's a pass. I had a hard time watching the watching the program. It maybe again it was just such a letdown from the London shows or from the you know, the uh Wembley Arena shows. But I had a hard time. Uh, going out to Twitter and using the sudden impact hashtag, uh the whole thing with Brandon Jacobs as well, Aaron B S C mentioned uh WrestleMania 11, anybody getting a football player in there? Uh, I guess we could substitute Lawrence Taylor for uh, Bam Bam Bigelow, Bully Ray for Brandon Jacobs. Also, uh, Bizarre says that, now that was funny. We wish you well on your future endeavors. Yeah, I did catch that in well. And uh, Donna from NYC uh, says, you know you want to buy some direct auto insurance right now. No, I don't. 
and I, I feel a little awkward having that up there. It's, it's, I think it's just a little, uh, a little forced. And speaking of forced, uh, Brandon.